Welcome back. When you hear people talk about financial institutions, do you think about diversity or equity and inclusion? Do you think about social purpose? Well, our guests from Libro Credit Union are proud to be part of a push for change. Please welcome Rhonda Choya and Janet Johnson. Hello, Janet. Hello, Rhonda, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Jen. Hi there. Nice to be here. Hi. So last month, I put a call out to the community for women of excellence, and I heard from Libro Credit Union with regards to some women who are doing some phenomenal things. And so we said, come on to the show. And here they are. So here you are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So tell us a little bit more about Libro. Why don't you jump in, Janet? Sure. Um, well, Libro is a, a purpose-based credit union. Uh, Libro is a B Corp. Uh, and committed to using business as a force for good. Um, really what drew me to Libro is, is that we want to make a positive impact in the communities that we serve. Um, and in particular, we, we focus on making an impact um, on the areas of our what we call our pillars, which are uh, financial resilience, housing, employment, and local food accessibility. And actually in 2021, Libro contributed 1.4 million in direct funding to over 100 community organizations and 34 students. Um, and, and definitely unique because um, of our cooperative nature and cooperative values. And maybe you can expand a little bit on that, Rhonda. Yeah, certainly. So one of the things that unique is people don't always understand about a credit union is we are a cooperative. So what that means is that our customers, which we call owners, are members of our credit union. They are also shareholders. So in the world of financial industry, what that means is there is no conflict between our customers and our shareholders. Any strategies that we drive, we are with those two key stakeholders in mind and in our community. Everything stays right here in Southwestern Ontario. That's where our members come from. That's where we're rooted. And that's where we give back to our communities. Uh, and so that's a very unique model. And we also, from a credit union perspective, two of our women leaders are not on the call today, uh, but Carol Normando, uh, she leads our advice and service delivery group. And that means that we offer deep financial services and coaching to not only personal owners who want mortgages or loans or deposits, but we also offer mutual funds and investments and great financial advice. And we also offer commercial and agriculture lending. And Libro Credit Union is actually, from a credit union perspective, one of the largest agricultural lenders in Canada. Okay, so in terms of, um leadership, women in leadership. Tell us a little bit about Libro and women in leadership here in Southwestern Ontario. Yeah, so I'm super proud of our organization. We celebrated International Women's Day a little while ago and Libro, 50% of our executive leadership team or C-suite roles are women. And within that, each one of the women in those roles have diverse experience that they bring to the table. 45% of our board of directors are also women. And 73% of our managers are also women. Now, in fairness, so we've had some great success there and we have a ways to go as well. And I know, Janet, you had some insights into how can we further this agenda for any organization? Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, I, I would say, you know, having women and, and voices in those leadership roles um, with different perspectives certainly um, makes our community and organization stronger. Um, having that broad, broad range of perspectives makes, I think, is a strength and makes us have uh, better and more balanced decisions. But there are, are is certainly um, a ways to go. I, when I think of my role um, as, this, as the CFO, um, I know if you ask most pick kids to picture a CFO, they would probably picture a man first. And, and that bias is, is built in. Um, even focusing on accounting and university, I, I probably didn't really picture myself in this role. Um, even though you know your mind, in your mind that you're capable, 
um, you internalize what you see. And so um, I think there's still a long way to go to improve. And, and I love my job. And I, I really do hope that in the future, when you ask a kid to picture a CFO, that it's a 50-50 toss up of whether that's a man or a woman. It is so important to have diversity throughout the whole organization. So frontline mm -hmm. all the way up, and it just makes for a more wholesome, fulsome type of organization. So that is, it's wonderful to hear that about Libro. Really appreciate you both being here. Thank you for doing what you do. And I'm hoping that people see this and inquire and come in to your institution to really be part of the community. Thank you.